stop optimizer was acting up a little bit, but now he has taken his spot in the starting gate, and that's going to leave Maya Donis to complete the lineup here for the 144th running of the Belmont Stakes. They're all in line, and we are ready for the start. They're off, and the Belmont Stakes and Union Reds had a fine start today. Painter is going to go to set the piece, though. And on the far outside, Maya Donis came off with speed. Optimizer is up close between those two. And Unstoppable U is down on the inside. Union Rags will be fit early as they run for that first turn. Union Rags is only about three lengths off the lead. Delahan is in behind him. Atagon saves ground and then 516, Ravello's boy. Guiana Start, Weege, and late running Street Life is the trailer. And he's about 10 lengths off of Painter, who completes an opening quarter in 23 and 3 fifth seconds. A solid first fraction for Painter and Mike Smith. Optimizer is second on the outside. Unstoppable U is running in third position. Maya Donis is fourth as they make their way to the back stretch. And Union Rags and John Velasquez are fifth on the inside. They're four and a half lengths off the lead, and they've had a good trip so far. Then Guiana Stark Weeds moving up along the 516. And then Atagun along the inside. Ravello's boy, Delahan, is now back second last on the back stretch. He's eight lengths off the lead. And Street Life is the trailer as Painter continues to lead them. He completes a half mile in the Belmont Stakes in 49 and one foot seconds. We slowed things down a bit. Did Mike Smith on Painter? Unstoppable U is now off the rail and put some pressure on. Optimizer is running in third while Union Rags continues to ride the rail. And he's four lengths off the lead. And then it's Maya Dunnis to the outside. Atagan is in behind them. Jalahan is now gaining some ground on the rail. He still has seven lengths to make up. Painter continues to lead the way. Three quarters went in one fourteen and three around the far turn. Painter is the leader. Union Rags is slipping through an opening on the inside of Unstoppable U. Maya Donis is going three wide. Dolahan is now being ridden to the back of the pack. He's got to go. Painter is the leader as they make their way to the top of the stretch. Unstoppable U is second. Union Rags is right behind them. While Atagun swings up on the far outside. And they're into the stretch. Painter, here's Atagun on the far outside. Unstoppable U. Union Rags is fourth along the rail. Delahan and Street Life are trying to get involved late. It's still Painter. Union Rags. Atagun. Painter. Union Rags fighting for the rail. Painter. Union Rags has got him. Union Rags in the Belmont Stakes. And Painter was second best. Then came Atagun, followed by Street Life. It was the real Union Rags today. He won the Belmont. There's the horse we've all been waiting to see. Union Rags coming through on the inside. Finally lives up to his potential and takes a classic win in the mile and a half Belmont Stakes. There are the connections, Michael Matz. You remember Michael Matz, the silver medal winning Olympian who trained Barbaro to win the Kentucky Derby, the ill-fated Barbaro. And now he has Union Rags. Who he compared to Barbara early in a description to Phyllis Wyatt, who owns this colt, and they have their redemption. There's Phyllis Wyatt. She's confined to a wheelchair, has been since 2001. She was a former steeplechase rider, but in 1962 was involved in an automobile accident that nearly took her life. She broke her neck in that accident. She worked in John F. Kennedy's White House, but she has been. Uh, a stalwart owner and a breeder in this business. She sold Union Rags and thought so much of him in the family's breeding, the family's investment in him, that she bought him back for nearly three times what she sold him for. Well, it pays off today in the Belmont Stakes. The Hickory Tree Farm family from Virginia and the Hickory Tree Bloodlines represented on the dam side, the mother's side of Union Rags today. And John Velasquez gets the mouth rides for the first time and has success as the crowd cheers as they post the numbers with Painter in second behind Union Rags. And finishing third was Attica.